Those anti-vaxxers are crazy, I think. Hi, this is Dr. Wallace. Today I'm going to ask you, what is the craziest myth you have heard about COVID-19? The craziest myth? <laughs> <laughs> that it's not real. <laughs> yeah. The craziest myth that uh, it doesn't exist. Um, that um, something like uh, it was government made, man made. Governments came together and just um, created it on purpose. That you get, I guess you don't need a vaccine. What is the craziest myth you have heard about COVID-19? Oh, uh, that the vaccine is not a wise idea. I think that's been quite busted. Uh, I think this is the, an easy one, but I think it's when Trump said that you can uh, kill the virus by taking bleach or, or something of that sort. Those anti-vaxxers are crazy, I think. Yeah, the, you know, believing that the vaccine is tracking people, like putting trackers in you, that's just crazy. I heard the vaccine has has five uh, has five G nanomachines. <laughs> I keep straight face. I heard the vaccine. Has, <laughs> I heard the vaccine has five G nanomachines inside them, and that if you take the vaccine, then it's gonna give the government a reason to chip you and to know your whereabouts. It's like, bro, where have you been for the last? <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been for the last 20 years? You have GPS on your phone. <laughs> well, not necessarily about COVID-19, but about the vaccination that people are being implanted with chips that are going to uh, somehow self-destruct at some point in the future. I don't know. That's probably the most crazy thing. I've seen some flyers around here saying that, you know, there are like microchips in them or they cause, uh, they cause infertility or whatnot, you know, uh, that kind of bullshit. It's designed to sterilize people so they can't reproduce, so we can reduce the world population. Uh, what did have I heard? Um, I think like your balls get swollen or something. Sorry, is that TMI? <laughs> something like that, you know? Yeah, and that uh, guys can't get it up, so... That's, that's something that I've heard. I'm a biotechnologist, and something that I think that people say is a myth is that it was started in a lab. It's very possible that the probability that it started in a lab is higher than most people give it credit for. Um, yeah, I work in a biotechnology lab. It's not that improbable that it could have started in a lab. And I'm really sad that that's the case. That means that they weren't getting the right funding to you know, take the safety precautions necessary. So something that people think is a myth, but maybe not a myth, so it's the opposite of what your question was. The numbers that they are reflecting, I don't think that they're accurate. Okay. Too high, too low? I think they're way too high. I think, I think that, it, yes, it's a flu, yes, it is a problem, but I don't think the number of deaths that have been reported and all the other statistics that are being reported are accurate. I think the biggest myth right now is that this virus is somehow different from all the other viruses in human history that now we've conquered and have now successfully vaccinated people against and those are mandatory. Uh, and it's crazy to think, especially for you in the medical field, like um, somehow, some way in the world, people think that this is different from all those other viruses and it's not.